Hello everyone, welcome to the second video. Uh, for this second video, now that we've created the guard piece, we're going to create the handle tip piece. And so the handle tip is like a little kind of cup piece that fits over the end of the, it's a metal cup piece that fits over the end of the handle. Uh, it looks like this. It's going to have kind of a, a cup uh, with a rectangular hole in the bottom. And that, that rectangular hole is to allow the, uh, the arm pieces to go into the handle. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to open up a new part just like we did before. Go ahead and open the part. All right, and for this one, rather than using an extrude, we're going to learn how to do a revolve. Uh, so a revolve takes kind of a cross section and revolves it around a central axis. Whereas this is good for kind of square or rectangular pieces, this is good for kind of cylindrical features like our our handle tip. All right, so let's go ahead. We still start it with a sketch. So I'm going to do a sketch and hit sketch. It should ask you to select a plane. We're going to do the front plane here. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to use this front view. Uh, so we're ignoring the hole for now. We're basically going to go up and kind of back, create kind of a half of this U shape. We're going to put a center line in the middle and revolve around that center line. All right, so go back over, oops, not that one. Go back over here. And we're gonna go ahead and do a line. So we're gonna do a line, oops, sorry, before I do this, I always gotta remember to change your units. So go back and we'll restart that sketch, front plane. All right, so go ahead, create a line from the origin point. Um, and then I'm going to round off the corners here later. So I'm going to, going to kind of go up, over, back down, and then back over this way. And actually the last line, rather than a regular line, I'm going to do the center line. So to connect that point there to that point there. All right. If you zoom in, you can actually see the center line. It's got a, a long dash, short dash, etc. So that's actually not going to create features. It's just going to be used for an axis that we're going to rotate around. All right, so overall, let's go back to the PDF. Let's get some dimensions. So overall dimensions, the, the wall thickness, it's two millimeters all the way through. Uh, the whole thing is 17 millimeters tall, uh, and it's got a diameter of 30 millimeters, so half of it, the radius, would be 15 millimeters. So 15 by 17, and then two is the thickness. All right, so smart dimension. This is going to be 15. This height is going to be 17. And both of these thicknesses are going to be 2. So here to here is going to be 2. All right. So we're going to want to also round off these corners here. Um, and so if I want to, I can use what's known as the sketch fillet. And so the sketch fillet will round off a corner. Um, so click sketch fillet. I'm going to select this outside corner first. Uh, and I got to determine the radius of that fillet. All right, so that's kind of the radius of the arc. Let's go back over here. So the outside one has actually got a radius of five millimeters. The inside one's going to have a radius of three millimeters. So let's go back to SolidWorks. So the outside one's got five. Go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm going to select this corner here, and it'll round off that corner as well. The inside one is going to be three millimeters. So hit OK. All right, so now this whole thing uh, looks like a good cross section. So it's kind of got that U shape. I've rounded off those two corners. We're going to go ahead and exit the sketch. All right, make sure I still have that sketch selected. And if I go over here to Features, I'm going to do Revolve. Sketch is currently open. And we can hit Yes for the automatically closed. All right, and it should, kind of by default, it's going to select that uh, center line we put in. Uh, if you don't have a center line in there, you can go ahead and manually select 
uh, one individual piece. But the easy way to do this is we just select the center line, uh, or we put a single center line in there. It's going to know I want to revolve about that. Uh, so I, the what I can do with the revolve is I can change the degree. So if I wanted to just make this kind of a semicircle, I could do 180 degrees, but I want to go all the way around. So I'm going to do 360 degrees. All right, and after I do that, I hit OK. All right, and I've got my overall uh, kind of cup shape. All right, so the next piece is I need to do an extruded cut just like I did before. Uh, so I'm going to go and go back to sketch, do sketch. I select the bottom surface. It's got a nice square view. So let's go over here, and if I, if I just over this, if I do the bottom surface, it'll kind of square that up and center it on the screen for me. All right, so there's a couple ways to do this, and the easiest way is I'm actually going to do this center rectangle here. And so I'm doing the center rectangle because I know I want it centered on the origin point. So if I put, I click the center of the rectangle first, and I kind of go out this way, now I just have to worry about defining the height and the width. The center, the location is already defined by that center point. So I am going to know that this is four millimeters tall by 10 millimeters wide. All right, and that's the only two dimensions I have to add for that. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the sketch. Make sure you've got that sketch selected. Go over to Features, and we're going to do Extruded Cut just like we did before. So extruded Cut, you can kind of rotate around to see what's going on. All right, it's going up through the piece 10 millimeters. That's fine. That'll get all the way through. Uh, so go ahead, hit OK, and let's take a look. All right, that looks like our piece. So go over here and just double check. Well, yeah, that's our piece. So last thing we need to do, we always just want to go ahead and save. Um, you know, save it wherever you're going to save it. Uh, handle tip is the name I'm going to give this particular part. And go ahead, hit save. All right, and that's all I've got for this video. I'll see you in the next video.